Hello and greetings Harbor Creek students. It's Mr. Anthony here. I want to take a few moments and talk to you about something very important happening this week. Uh, on Wednesday, April 13th, uh, most of our student body, that's all of our 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students, will be taking the Michigan Merit Exam, also called the MME. It's a big day for schools all across the state of Michigan, and it's a big day here at Harper Creek. I want to make sure you're informed and prepared. I've sent you emails, I've sent parents letters and reminders as well. I want to make sure you have the information you need so that you're prepared mentally and physically to do your best uh, this Wednesday. Um, so again, all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders are tested. Uh, I will be going through each grade level so you know what to do. So please pay attention to your grade level and to information that will help all of you prepare for Wednesday. And uh, if you're a junior, you've got a couple days of testing ahead of you this, this week. So uh, students in 11th grade, you're going to be the most affected by the next couple of days. You're gonna be taking all three parts of the Michigan Merit Exam. And that includes the SAT, which most of you are familiar with. That will be a good measure of how ready you are for college and or career readiness, as well as the ACT work keys and also the Michigan M-STEP exam. Okay, and all of those will help measure your college and career readiness. Students in ninth and 10th grade will be taking the PSAT, which is again, a benchmark for how prepared are you for taking your M-STEP your ACT and your SAT when you become an 11th graders. So all of these are good indicators to see how ready you are and how we are doing in preparing you for that your 11th grade year. Seniors, I'm gonna to talk to you in a moment too about what you can expect this week as well. Just a general announcement for everybody, if you are a dual enrolled student or attend the Math Science Center or the Career Center, um, you are expected to test with Harper Creek according to our schedule. The Math Science Center and the Career Center already know about these dates. We've communicated that to them and you will be excused from those centers in order to test with us on those days. If you are an accommodated test taker, Mrs. Deskins has sent you communications and will um, individualize your testing schedule with you. So this is the schedule for the general student body on Wednesday and Thursday this week. 12th grade students, on Wednesday, no seniors are expected to attend school on Wednesday, April 13th. We call it the Senior Service Day. This day is set aside especially for you to seek those service opportunities, seek those service hour opportunities if you still need those, get those hours, take, um, take the opportunity to uh, volunteer, to job shadow, even do a college uh, visit if that's something that uh, you still have the opportunity to do. So seniors take advantage of that day, get something done, make something good out of it. If you attend the Career Center or the Mass Science Center uh, and they are in session that day, please attend those places. If you're dual enrolled at KCC and you're a senior, you should attend those classes on that day, okay? Seniors should not show up to the high school unless you've made arrangements um, individually to, um, to help us out that day or for some credit recovery opportunities. 11th grade students. So this is where most of our students are affected over the next few days. Our 11th graders will all be testing. On Wednesday, you're taking the SAT, okay? This test will begin at 7.45 in the morning. Please be on time, and it will go an extensive amount of time well after 12 o'clock on that one. Students are excused. If you're an 11th grade student, once you're completed with testing on Wednesday, you are excused from school at that time. We will provide you with a snack during the testing and a sack lunch once you complete your testing. We are not providing buses, bus transportation until the normal dismissal at 1.40 on that day for juniors. So again, juniors, SAT on Wednesday, be on time. You will be testing in the small gym, okay? On Thursday, 11th grade students, you are taking the ACT work keys, again in the small gym, first thing in the morning, be on time, 7.45 in the small gym for the ACT work keys. You will then have a lunch, and then you will report to different classrooms for the M-STEP exam in the afternoon. So pay attention to where your locations for testing are for the M-STEP. Those will be posted on the walls around the lobby of the school, okay? Ninth and 10th grade students, you are also testing on Wednesday, uh, April 13th. Uh, ninth and 10th grade students, 10th graders, you will test in the main gym. So you will show up at 745 on Wednesday and you will be testing the PSAT 10 in the big gym area. Be on time at 745 so you can be seated and begin your test on time. Uh, ninth grade students, 
you will have your room assignments. You will be testing in classrooms and you will have your room assignments posted throughout the main lobby so that you know where to attend. Those should be up on Friday, uh, uh, last Friday, but uh, check those out Monday or Tuesday or a Wednesday morning so you know where your testing location is so you can be there on time at 745. Again, sophomores and ninth graders, you will finish approximately 11.15 with testing. At that time, then you will be excused for lunch, and then you will report to your third block classes on Wednesday. So when you're done with your testing, you will report to your third block classes until early dismissal at 1.40. At that time, bus transportation and normal transportation is expected. All students, all students testing. Remember, school and testing begins at 745. It is extremely important that you show up on time next week, especially on Wednesday for all of our testers. Make every effort to ensure you're on time and you're well rested going into it. So get plenty of sleep uh, Monday night, Tuesday night, and you're ready to go on Wednesday. We encourage all students, bring a water bottle, bring a calculator, and bring number two pencils with you. Okay, again, all students, bring your own calculator, bring a water bottle. If you want to bring a snack, you can also bring a snack with you. Uh, you cannot eat it during testing, but you can keep it and have snacks in between testing, okay? Students, no technology, cell phones, smartwatches, any of that is allowed in the testing rooms. So we encourage you to leave that in your lockers or leave that in your vehicle secured. Do not bring cell phones, do not bring watches, anything like that into the testing environment. If you do bring those in, we will ask you to not only silence them, to power them off and turn them in at the front of the classrooms during testing. So be aware, do not bring your technology devices with you to testing. Uh, that is a Michigan Merit Exam rule for all testing. We expect all ninth graders, all 10th graders, and all 11th graders to test, including our virtual students as well. If you are not riding a bus and you are unable to transport yourself home after testing, you are expected to be in a supervised location here in the building until your transportation arrives or until busing is available for you. Students, we want your testing experience to be as comfortable, as stress-free as possible. We want you to perform your best. And in order to do that, you need to have that positive outlook, a positive, I can do it attitude. So act like a champion, think like a champion, and perform like a champion. Okay, we can do that on the field and in the classrooms. And this is our opportunity to show what we know. We will take that information from your scores as a school, and that will help drive our professional development will help, divide, to help drive our curriculum and help plan for how we can better serve you to prepare you for college and career readiness. So please take these tests seriously as we do take those scores seriously as well. If you have any questions about that, we still have informational brochures available right up until test day in the counseling office. And please speak to your counselor if you have any questions. So again, all students, 9th, 10th, and 11th grade, you're testing this Wednesday, April 13th. Please be on time, bring a number two pencil, uh, bring a water bottle, and bring a calculator with you, okay? Do your best in the classroom and on the fields. Let's go blue.